Hi, and welcome to a Create Today video hosted by Scrapbook and Cards Today magazine. I'm designer Jen Gallagher, and today I am creating a layout using the Kate and Company collection from My Mind's Eye, and they are helping to sponsor this video, and I wanted to show you some of the items that I'll be using in this video. So this collection is fun in that it is both masculine and feminine. So you can buy the pattern papers and the elements and use them for both a male layout or a female layout, or you can combine them. So they have decorative tape, decorative buttons, decorative brads, enamel dots, decorative stamps, these ones have more of the masculine elements, layered stickers, and then they include lots of fun pattern paper. So again, some of them are gender neutral, while others are feminine, and others are masculine. So this collection is great in that it works well for Father's Day or Mother's Day or summer and lots of other ways that you can use this collection and it includes lots and lots of different pattern papers included journaling cards in several different sizes and lots of tone on tone patterns so that you can use this in a lot of different ways. Here are the element sticker sheets. And this one is the one that includes a lot of masculine elements, but there's also feminine elements. And then these are the chipboard elements, which are similar, but they're thicker in that they're printed on chipboard. So let's go ahead and create a layout using this fun collection. So for this layout, I have chosen this bold chevron piece, which has these dots on the other side. And how I select my background paper is that if the pattern does not distract from the rest of the layout, it functions well as a foundational piece. And while this is bold, it is also a little bit subtle because there's only two colors in it, white and this kind of teal robin egg blue, and so that won't distract from the rest of the layout. And then to make the process go a little faster, I have machine stitched around this white sheet of cardstock. And I cheat a little bit when I machine stitch in that I use white bobbin thread on the bottom and then I use a color thread on the top, which means I only have to change out the top of the thread on my sewing machine. You could leave out this step as well if you prefer. So then I want to add a border and I'm going to use some cardstock and I matched my cardstock to the rest of the pattern paper. And then I'm going to use a punch from Stampin' Up! And it's a notebook border punch. You can use whatever border punch you want. And I'll just use it to cut the border and add a little bit of texture. So what I will do is I will take the pattern paper that I have and I will shop my stash for a matching cardstock. And I usually keep the hotter colors on hand as well as neutrals like black and white and craft and I keep those on hand at all times. You can also see if the manufacturer offers colors that match your particular project. So if you're doing something for My Mind's Eye, see if they have solid paper or card colored cardstock that matches. So I'm going to go ahead and adhere this at the bottom of the layout and I'm only going to add adhesive to the part of the cardstock that isn't punched. That will allow me to distress the border a little bit. And the way I do this is I turn it over and then I just use my fingers to kind of pull up some of the punch. And this works well with this border punch. Perhaps the punch you have, you'll want to keep it smooth, but it just adds a little bit of texture down here at the bottom. And then on top of that, we will add the white cardstock that we've machine stitched and that will serve as the foundation for our layout. And in order to save cardstock, I only cut out the portion that I needed, meaning I left this side blank because I knew I was going to add some pattern paper there. And the pattern paper that I've chosen is this diamond pattern paper, and on the other side it has a nice yellow and teal plaid. I'm working with a lot of the B sides, which are typically a tone-on-tone -tone pattern paper and that works well for what I'm doing. Now for this particular layout I wanted to use a bold photo which is my daughter and her friend and it reminded me of the mustaches that you find in this collection and to balance out using one bold photo and this is cropped into a square I wanted a big bold title and so I cut with my silhouette machine this larger title 
that both serves as the title for the page and the journaling. And you can use either a glue pen or you can use the adhesive to add this to your layout. I don't necessarily put adhesive on every part. You can machine stitch this down, whatever you're comfortable with, just to help it stay in place. Just make sure it has enough to go on the layout. And we'll center it on the white block. So this is nice and bold and again it balances out this black and white photo and I went with the black and white photo because the girls were wearing red and I really wanted to use this collection so I just changed it to black and white. You can ask the photo processing center where you get your photos developed to change your photos to black and white if you prefer. Then for the journaling cards pattern paper I cut out several journaling cards and I was especially drawn to the phrases and not necessarily the images which are cute but I wanted to concentrate more on the phrases to help support the journaling. So I'm just going to tuck these in here. And you can also see that the reason why I pre-stitched is so that I could tuck additional items in to this top area of the layout. You could also cut them off if you want to use them differently. And I'm just going to cover up that little bicycle on the Enjoy the Journey card. So these just tuck in really nicely. I want to tuck this one a little bit more and see, here's what you can do. So if you're only going to use the top part, you can cut off the bottom part and use it for a card or another element later. And then we'll just cover up that bicycle. You can see it's completely covered now. And I have all my items layered. At the bottom of the layout, I'm going to use some of the decorative tape that came with this collection. And I'm going to use this big, bold blue polka dot. And I'm going to stretch it across the entire bottom of the layout. And I'm going to put it across the top of that teal punched border. And what I will do is I rip off enough that I can tuck the ends on the other side and then I just smooth it down. And then I don't have to worry about having to cut the edges. They're already cut and ready to go. So let's go ahead and add our photo to the layout. And I choose sometimes, especially if I'm doing a double page layout, I usually will pick a larger photo as a focal point photo and then if I do a second page I can use four by six photos or whatever I want to on that second page. So I'm going to use a layered sticker. This says you and your big adventure and I'm just kind of layering different embellishments from all the different items that come in this collection. And because they were designed to coordinate it makes my job a lot easier. Then I'll use this chipboard telephone and it is a sticker as well and I'll adhere that to the layout. Now in the title I wanted to dress up the title a little bit and so from the buttons I pulled off some chipboard and some of the regular type buttons and I'm just going to fill in some of the holes that are on the title. So one way to dress up your titles is to use buttons for circular elements such as the O. I'm filling in the O with a button and then I'm using a chipboard button and you'll notice some of the buttons are tied in a bow and some are tied in a knot. I like to mix it up, keep it a little bit more interesting. And that little bit of texture in that crochet twine really draws the eye to that title. Just using glue dots and for the small button I simply centered it in the middle of the title. Then I wanted to draw attention to the word this and so from the element sticker sheet I've pulled off these teal brackets and we will frame the word. That also adds a little bit of pattern at the bottom of the layout. And you want to make sure that they're balanced on both sides. Now at the top here I wanted to add some tabs and I have several tabs again from the element stickers. I have a green one and I have a blue one and a yellow one. And we'll just overlap that stitching just a little bit. 
and then inside these stickers you can stamp, you can use a pen. I'm going to use a sticker sheet from Tim Holtz and inside it includes several different words and I'm going to use the white. There are also craft in the back but I'm just going to pick words that I think express what's going on in this layout such as laughter and wonderful. And then at the top of the photo, I'm going to use a chipboard sticker that says, Oh So Curious. And that helps draw the attention back to the photo. And then here at the bottom, I want to add a little bit more texture. So I'm going to add some brads from the brad set. And to do that, I have a foam base, and I place my layout on top of the foam base, and then I use a paper piercer. And then depending on where I want the brads, I'm going to use this large blue ampersand and this circle. I will place my brads on the layout where I think I want them to go and then I will poke a hole. And if it is a larger brad, I will twist the paper piercer around a little bit just to make the hole just a little bit larger. And then we'll add the second brad. And I just like to bring in some circular elements and things to the bottom of the page or in little visual triangles around the layout. And then you just open the brad backings on the back of the layout, making sure your ampersand is facing the right direction. So there you have a layout that uses this fun Kate & Company collection from My Mind's Eye. And you can see that while there are feminine elements to it, they're also well used on masculine pages. So here's how you can use this collection to create a layout about those you love. Thank you for joining me for today's Create Today video.